just for context yeah. like uh, would you like to explain climate mm. change in a brief minute absolutely because everybody has a different opinion like for a long time i assumed every surface has a albedo effect sun's rays hit earth different surfaces reflect different kind of heat back the atmosphere blocks different kind of rays differently by virtue of what gases are present there but the more people i talk to sometimes somebody is telling me carbon is no longer a problem methane is a problem water vapor is a problem so i want to learn what exactly is climate change today so what does greenhouse yeah. what's a greenhouse right you're trying to create an environment for plants where there's a constant recirculation of co2 because that's what plants need which means you're creating a dome where everything is more humid everything is more moist and more wet we aren't meant to live in an environment which is supposed to be so highly heated i'll give you a great example and this is something that i find very troubling now has anybody noticed that turbulence has gotten far worse now than say a decade back did you know that's an effect of climate change air is thinner up there than it used to be so aircraft would hit a particular height above which there was no turbulence and now as the air literally heats up even at higher sort of altitudes you feel uh the effect of turbulence so, i mean a simple way to look at it is if you're thinking of you think of mercury and venus what do you think is hotter mm. mercury hmm? no venus right and uh it's because of the atmosphere mm -hmm. right so just because you're closer to a heat source doesn't mean it's hotter the atmosphere plays a much larger role on so that the, front so climate change is the wrong kind of gases in our atmosphere that's correct and so it's harder for heat to so, escape so what's happening is by the temperature going up right you're now melting the polar ice caps you're therefore at the result of that getting um changing how currents would go so an el nino may come in here your monsoons may shift as a result of it because you're putting a lot more um you know changes in ocean currents which then change affect temperature patterns you know um a rise in that would means mauritius may be under maldives may be under water as a result of that so it's all starting from the fact that it's it's uh methane it's carbon dioxide is the main ingredients there are others too all of what we are talking about is in a way to curtail climate change can each of you define climate change in one minute in your I, own way yeah i mean like i don't know what i understand of climate change is obviously to even chetan's point is um you know heating is obviously causing a lot of challenges if you see the uh the temperature which has in, you know gone up in the last 10 years is really bad for us i was reading somewhere uh, i i think the question is why is the heating yeah, yeah it's happening because of emissions right so every year world produces 52 billion tons of you know co2 emissions industries more industrialization more cars on the road more manufacturing uh more power plants and because of that emission what is two, happening two, two important contributors are i could say even and blue smart plays a role there to probably curb uh, pollution uh transportation and electricity generation these two sectors electricity accounts for 25% to 26% of the world's uh co2 emissions and and logistics delivery you know mobility all put together uh transportation as a whole uh not just cars uh contribute uh and you can say airlines also are part of it because airlines also contribute again another 27% so 52% this is bill gates book which he wrote mm. uh that 50% of the global co2 emission that happened is because of transportation on ground so if you look at the correlation between the temperature and look at the correlation between the, between the concentration of co2 they have a, a direct correlation right so that's very critical because the curve is like that right now mm -hmm. right and all we can do today is it's going to continue what do we do to reduce that kind of you know the slope of that mm -hmm. so if you reduce the slope we may hit this point 100 years later if mm -hmm. we don't we may be 20 years from today mm -hmm. so all we can do is probably reduce that slope if we do it today that impact is much bigger we start mm -hmm. to do it 10 years from today then that you know you need to have a much more drastic change Fair. as we think of it Fair. hi i'm nikhil kamath i'd love to know what you thought of the episode uh, comment like and subscribe and thank you for watching